Hello everyone. And uh, the plot thickens. Well, as we have discussed, this is a 1964 Bonneville with a turbo hydromatic 400 with a leaking speedometer cable. And uh, I got to go up and I got to put these plugs in. And I got to put, uh, where did I put those? Uh, well, I'll, I'll put them over here. Yeah, I can't remember now. I got to put this on. I ordered a couple of, uh, yeah, that's, let's not talk about that right now. I ordered a couple of new hoses for it, big radiator hoses. I'll share the part numbers with you when I, when I get them and I make sure they're correct. So since I gotta take her up the lift, let's just put that stuff there. So, back to the point. Point is five sixteenths. Where in the hell did this car come from? Uh, and who, I'd give anything to have prominence in history on this thing. So, I thought to myself, self, let's get a new speedometer cable and uh, have a factory deal. So, they go into a lot about uh, cables for uh, manuals. That ain't us. So, let's look up 1964. So 1964, this is, uh, and uh, these guys are pretty good. They're a little bit more of your uh, stockish kind of guy. I like these guys. Ames Performance. i tell you who I hate is Rimmer Brothers. More on that later, but not this time. Boy, they, had their, they, had, they got their comeuppance from me today. But let's go to 1964. And uh, three-speed cables not available. Four-speed cable not available. 63.4. The uh, 350, they didn't exist, and they do not, Turbo Hydromatic 400 does not exist. Now, I don't know if that means, now see, they got them on down here. I don't know if that means that uh, most of these cars, they had to come with something. I don't, you know, I don't know. So uh, they had to come with some kind of gearbox in them, but I just don't think that, I'm pretty sure this was some big time special order deal. I'm gonna show that to uh, my friends that are coming by today. And uh, so let's just get one of these and put it, put it there and there you go. So we're gonna be taking her up. We're going to be, uh, getting some more water in it since I can't get hoses for a couple of days. I got to kind of clean her out some. We're going to take her for a uh, a drive today with uh, Mick if he shows up. He should. And let's talk about this. So you got your Edelbrock. You got to be able to uh, do your idle circuit adjustment with a uh, I think I put it over here because I thought I was through with it. I am not. You've got to do your idle adjustment with a tachometer. I have one. She has to be fully warmed up. And so you ask yourself when they say must be tuned with air cleaner on it. Well, with a little air cleaner, fine. So uh, what does a guy do who's got this particular air cleaner and he's going to go away from this one. Luckily, I can use that on this car. And uh, so he's going away from the 1099 filter to this thing. Well, this is what you do. You, uh, you just turn it sideways, okay? And then you get the same effect. Hopefully, to make sure it doesn't bind up your throttle cables or nothing. And then you can get to your idle screws. The other thing about this, when it comes to you, is that it doesn't it doesn't necessarily come with gaskets. I think I'm going to leave that right there for now. I went and uh, oh, got it on there good, don't it? Let's see if I can get that off. There is no gasket for holy cats. I don't know my own strength, do I? I don't think I put any Loctite on that. Good grief. What was I thinking? There we go. Ugh. <laughs> sometimes when I get tired, I, I can't... I have a trouble regulating my hand strength sometimes. I actually break glasses and stuff, so I've actually done that several times. And I broke... The last thing I broke was a globe on a lantern. So go to your carburetor kit and find you a little washer because it does not come with one in that particular 
circumstance. And then let's make sure that that little, that that washer's down there. You've got to have that one there. Okay. And it looks okay. Uh, so, just put that on there because your draw is going to be different on your air thing. So, just put that there. And the air don't matter where it goes as long as you remember that air is a liquid or more acts like a liquid at least. So my other things are, let's see, I gotta fix the speedometer cable. The other problem I have is that my distributor is uh, a gear wrong apparently because she's timed about right and you can tell that the vacuum advance unit is going right to the intake manifold leaving you about this much space. So. Later today, after the test drive and all, I'm going to rotate my distributor uh, one gear, and that should give me what I need. I'm not going to go into that. Okay, you, you know you, you know where you are. You, you know how to use white out and make marks. But i got to put this hose on to do that. This may help us on our uh, system of cable here. So what we're going to do now is we are going to uh, see right there right there that thing right there is your speedometer cable and you know it when you see it if you don't know it when you see it then you probably will never deal with one so let's get Pandora going and hope that uh, it doesn't rain because I just did round up because I believe there may be some footage later today of my gravel being spread so I hope that that's the case. Oh, come on. Finally. All right. Got to have a little burn pile. If it rains, I'll probably do some, some burn pile work too. Okay, but let's get this thing in the air. If you find yourself in a crunch and your swivelly ratchet or socket is a little too swivelly, just wrap it with some good some tape there, and it'll, it'll, it'll help you. Get you by... You can go back there and whoop on that thing with a big, great big axe and uh, spread and mushroom them things. Doesn't do you any good for any length of time. You can break the tool. Just get a new set of these. Just get quality ones. These are very old. And I just wrap them with tape just to get me by. Just a little side note. Odd facts known by a few. I have great news. I got my oxygen sensor thing from Glow Shift not a sponsor and I got this thing here I didn't even bother to open it before we started talking we'll see it in action here in a few minutes but the important thing is I got some stickers so those are gonna go there I like the you know what they they're, they're missing something here they're missing a marketing thing they need to make that glow in the dark see so the reason I got that is to hold this uh, this uh, sensor right here that I just put in and uh, we're going to put it I believe over it's got to be 18 inches from anything I might I might put it over here that might be even better right right there so we'll see how that no nah, I don't know I kind of like it on this side you know why it's gonna be a whole lot more trouble so 18 inches well let's find out where uh 18 inches is, it says at least that, so you guys must think I'm a nutball, but that's what they say do, and there's 18, and there's that, so yeah, uh, and you need to put it on a somewhat unmolested pipe, so uh, let's look at that again, I think, oh, well, so what, so, that's uh, somewhere in the six, and that's somewhere in the one foot. God, well, this back here is one foot, huh? So, so there's one foot. So yeah, it would have to be around this shifter mechanism. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it right there, and uh, 
we're going to point it that away and go up that away. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, don't you know you don't want these things to get, and you got to point them ten degrees off the horizon so they don't get water in them and stuff like that. So let's do that. I have I've been working on getting the speedometer cable out. I have cleaned my piece of pipe here with some purple stuff and some uh, water. I love these things. I just uh, so and I saw cleaned, and I got my uh, step drill bit that I I love. This is an Irwin. I got to watch Project Farm and see what he recommends. But that thing there, my slices and dices. So I got that going for me, and uh, I recommend that you measure this. And you measure that to make sure that it'll go into that. And don't forget to put your your cloth thing on there or whatever that is. Your seal. Or, 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 or. Seal. Or, 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 or. Okay, so let's uh, let's get this thing going. Uh, what time is it? Oh, I don't know. Time to keep moving. Uh, your results may vary, but I just measured that, and it's seven eighths. It is not. 13 sixteenths, daggummit. You've got to watch things like that, so get your micrometer there, and you will see that I am measuring that very carefully because you're going to spend a lot of time futzing around with this thing, and that is 7 eighths. That is not going to go into that, I'm telling you. Because 13 sixteenths is not 7 eighths. 7 eighths is about that much bigger. You'd be working at that a while. You know, I don't know. Did they make. <laughs> yeah, that aggravates you after a while. So uh, blow it at your bunghole there, I guess. I don't know. Well, let me let me double check that, and I'll see what I can do. It's just one more step up. It's not big, but it's big when you're trying to get it in there. Y'all know the feeling. So the other thing you've got to be mindful of is wear safety glasses, because this thing here spits out some shards. So what's your problem there? Well, you're going to come out this side if you're not careful. This is a exactly two inch pipe, and I made it by just a couple of millimeters. So. I guess I could get the tripod and try this thing. Uh, so would you do it this way? I think that way. Let's just slip it on there. Let's see you just slip it on there. Okay. Need two hands to handle the whopper here. Oh, okay. Now let's just, I think that's enough for me to, I don't want to force this thing too much, so. I know I don't have my pad on there yet, but we're just dry fitting. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Boy, that fits in that fits in there nice. Now that ain't 13 sixteenths. And that don't see that doesn't look so heinous that way. Okay. I didn't know this was gonna turn into this because I wasn't expecting this thing for several days. Be sure and get your lock tied out for your bolts here. All right, so let's get it off and uh, and put the uh, the wonder pad on there. Which way does it go? Oh, I guess it goes. I don't know. I guess you want the maybe they're both metal. So I would imagine you would want the metal side against the exhaust pipe. But uh, that's just a guess on my part. Do they tell you? Three sixteenths, thirteen sixteenths. See. I got it 10% as I could. Remove the backing from the gas, fix the gasket to the pipe, making sure to line up the holes. Well, yeah, that's helpful. Hmm. I think I would want the metal part to go there. Almost anything's better than welding. Uh, I love welding, don't get me wrong, but you end up with all kind of problems and stuff. And this is somewhat removable, and I'm sure you could put a plug in it and whatever you want to do. So uh, let's get. Uh, what is this? What is this like when you? Uh, 
All right, guys. Let's just get rid of that. So, is it... I don't know what it is on that side. Boy, that's some kind of goopy goo. Hmm. I'm sure it's some kind of haze, heinous chemical. So, I might want to wear gloves, but... I think I'm going to stick this on the inside of this thing and then clip it on there. Let's see how that does. All right. Well, you can't mess with this stuff too much because it cracks. So I'm going to have to put it the metal side toward this thing. And as you can tell, you got to cut some of this off because you're going to interfere with this stuff. And I am going to put a little bit of the super goo on there and, uh, and uh, kind of make sure it seals up pretty good. It's a pretty nice weld. wish I could weld like that. And uh, I'm going to pack it with that stuff and then uh, going to get that uh, piece of material and then cut it and fit it that way. That's all I can think to do. That's about all you can do. It's turned into a big magilla. So if you're going to use some paste, make sure not to get it on the sensor or where it can get on the sensor because it will... Uh, Sensors are sensitive. You, you gotta watch that about sensors. So let's let's get that in there. See, I had to cut it a little bit. Now, when I cut this stuff, it's uh, it's fibrous actually. Things that cut, uh, it's fibrous actually. So I think that's gonna be okay. That far downstream, I would think, more than 18 inches, as we well know. Starting to think that welding may work out. I have to. I'm gonna get a plug as an alignment pin because you can't really tell because this is so thick that it you know you don't know where the hell you are so uh see if you can find yourself a plug and use that to help align everything do not use this for anything do not use that for anything but what it is intended for certainly not for an alignment pin and that does seem to want to thread all the way through so wow what a pain Welding may be a good idea. Who knows? So I've got that pin in as far as I can get. I can get it a little further. And then I got these kind of vice grips. This is no small task. Uh, <laughs> uh, his vice grips. What did uh, I heard Musty one saying? Is there anything they can't do? So uh, in this case, uh, you need something to hold all that because you got all this stuff to do. So let's see if I can get this. I didn't come down here to do this at all. And welcome to car restoration. Yeah, that's the way it goes. This is a lot like, you know, spending, uh, you know, oh, it's going to take five minutes to put those stickers on. Nah, that was actually a thing that happened to me. Now, you got to alternate these things, man, and they, that thing ain't going to tighten up all the way on there, and that's a two-inch clamp and two-inch pipe, and uh, it's supposed to go up to something bigger than that. I don't know what, but uh, anyway, it's good enough. Now, I was going back and forth on these, and I got my Loctite on this. Don't put Loctite on your sensor thing, and I could feel that lip of this bong crunch into... The, I'm glad the music stopped. Crunch into a uh, pipe here. So let's uh, not break the lens of the camera with the wrench. And uh, so you got to get yourself a plug. Fortunately, these aren't the tapered uh, honky mofos. These are, oh, some, I think so. Oh, that's outside. This is taken infinitely longer than I imagined it it uh, it is harder than you think and if you don't have this alignment pin thing plug you're going to be unhappy I would imagine you got to come back down here and tighten this thing a few times so let's uh, when you grab these things grab them with care don't don't smack nothing around and uh, and you don't you just try to you know be, do the best you can and there you go now I got it up 
a couple of degrees. That's the best I could do with the drill that I had. And I do happen to have this tool. Now I could just put a 22 millimeter wrench on it and all of that good stuff. And you know what? That And I've got a 22 millimeter wrench sitting there. But that just ain't no fun. You can get you can get your socket here. Oh, let's 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 not use that one. Let's use one that has a sole. And that would be this one. Oh, every time I hear the T-bones, it reminds me of Millie Seidel. Hey, Millie, how are things in Texas? Okay. I don't know why that is, but it just reminds me of her. Uh, all right, so this thing, I, I just want to use it because I've never used it. And all you want to do is just be be uh, ever so gentle. This is a pretty good... Thank you again, Mick, for this wonderful thing. And then you just sort of... Uh, don't connect it till you got it tight, okay? All right. And then you'll feel it kind of crush. I think that feels better than just using a wrench that can slip off and damage your, damage your being. Now you can't have any air leaks here. And I believe that is crushed. I actually saw it crush. So there's the tool of the day. So what was this bong thing? They make different sizes so it didn't one size fits all. This is a glow shift can't show you that stuff but it's a GS BRK02-175 1 and 3 quarter to 2 inch so oh it does not go bigger than 2 inch so 2 inch was its limit but the next one go, it starts in a funky size a different size it goes from like 2 and a quarter so I couldn't use that for sure and uh, so I would say that is a definite go and uh it feels good let's just see now these are 13s and like i said you gotta go you gotta go between one see it's already loose you gotta go between one and the other and i believe that this is going to be good enough for for what i'm doing here wow see one of them's tighter than the other Oh, it's spinning over here, you big dummy. I don't know, I was thinking it had the locking bolt. Okay, so just uh, get your six millimeter and your 13 millimeter wrench, six millimeter uh, hex head, and don't put it against this thing. All right, so let's see about pulling this thing out and seeing if there's any O-rings in it. We're going for this thing. And have a very nice clean uh, trough here and uh, and so you can catch your fluid. I, I don't know where the fluid level is. I, my experience has generally been when you remove these, they do leak. So get your brake clean. Clean around this. Get your... Uh, they ain't going to drip too much anymore. Get you, you Clean out your container. Catch this fluid because all of this is new. So... Uh, oh, and I think I found that funky fan noise. I think that... Uh, it was this transmission line just sort of dancing against the end of the uh, the uh, the fan, actually. So, you know, I just laced it down to the other one, and that ought to stop any vibratory annoyances. And that's not hitting, really. You can make it hit, but that's spring-loaded because of the, the... Can you see them? They're the rubber pipes that go to the radiator. Okay, fine. So let's uh, let's put the wrench on the hex wrench on the other end and double check these things, and that's about as good as that's going to get. So I got four inches of exhaust here now. They say you probably should pull down your exhaust, and I could have probably done this easier, but I just didn't know, and I'm not pulling the exhaust stuff down on this anymore unless I have to. All right, well we might have two visitors today. Uh, I've been out on a parts run, and I'm back. It didn't take as long as I thought, so I'm home, and I hope they come, and maybe we'll get to have a visit. Nobody comes for a month or two or three, and then they both call randomly and say, hey, I'll be there today. 
around the same time. So we'll see if that happens.